good day so it's currently raining outside uh, since it's a storm season in the philippines so i'll be discussing here some tips on how do you prepare your east hybrid on grid inverter or any inverter for that matter if you have an inverter that is hybrid so you have to make sure that the battery won't be used but would be saved for any eventuality or no grid uh, suddenly fluctuation so at least your battery is always full so on the east side we all know that this is a hybrid on grid the other side is the uh, grid tie and the right side is the off-grid so we want to make sure that the off-grid will not use your battery when there's a storm or there's a storm coming you have to preserve your battery so currently it's running uh, it's raining outside so that's why uh, I'm making this video to uh, uh, for the users to be able to adjust on or how to adjust east to run on a UPS mode so we wa we want to preserve our battery that means say in the morning all your power will be uh, handled by the grid it's bypassed the battery will not be used uh, the inverter would always make sure that your battery is fully charged all that is being generated by the PV or your uh, solar panels would be used to charge your battery or would be used uh, to power your loads to help so currently my grid my pv because it uh today uh it's already night so i don't have the pv but the battery is on as you can see ba battery is on so let's check some uh parameters first so this we're going to check whether what's our battery right now because the previous uh video i have is i've set this to no ac charge uh e save and again no ac charge right now we're going to change it we're going to make sure that your battery is preserved uh, using east so let's see what's the parameter of battery so it's currently it's on 52 volts and charge over meaning to say it's fully charged so it's just lost in translation but at any rate you can see that it's charge over that means say your battery is fully charge now so let's prepare this uh, to function as a UPS mode so as you can see we don't have any PV power and no DS I don't have the U on the UPS and right now we are buying okay so uh to start with let's go back uh to the settings now the, the good thing about this because uh we don't want to change anything just change the settings the timer set so we don't have to shut down the inverter so let's we're going to system set it's all zeros and then just a timer uh, time set so previously this our set so we're going to uh, remove everything reset it to make it a ups so we're going to change this to not use Okay, so eSave would instruct your inverter that you're going to do a forced AC charging, meaning to say this will do a bypass. In the morning, it will not. Uh, it this will not. Uh, this will always charge the battery first. 
and it will do a grid priority. So meaning to say all your all the power is being powered by your uh, solar panels and your grid. Okay, so that's that's uh, all throughout in preparation for any storm or typhoon, especially uh, right now it's a typhoon season. So just to double check, so it's correct. Okay, so running info. So temperature, so it's, everything is okay. We don't have any issues. PV input abnormal because we don't have any PV anymore because at night. And now we're going to check. So it's battery on. So it's charge over. So same thing. Nothing happened. So this one, uh, your inverter now is ready. So every time there's a storm, you go back to your settings. No need to shut down the inverter. Just set the timer to e-save and you'll be good. So your battery is preserved. I hope you've learned something today. And for EAST users, uh, this is the most important thing. Uh, you have to tell your inverter what to do. Because this is just a computer or a fuzzy, a fuzzy computer. So settings will be able to run them. Okay, that's it. And thumbs up. Good night.